In this section, we're going to be continuing to talk about color and object properties. As you can see, I still have my box here, which is currently red. If I go to my object window, we can change it back to black or any other color we want. Now notice as soon as I deselect my object, the properties window is grayed out. Again, object color will only affect the shaded preview. Now in material, there's a color option here, which as you can see is grayed out. You can color by layer, by plugin, or basic. Now if I set basic, I can change this color here. Again, our color wheel comes up with our swatches here on the left. You can scroll here, choose any color, press OK. Now my shaded preview is the same color, but my render color is set at purple, like I've chosen. The render window asks if I want to save it. I'll say no. Now, as far as colors go, we can also change the basic colors in Rhino. The colors tab here. My viewport colors, viewport background, major grid line, minor grid line, x-axis, y-axis. You can see these colors set out here, and any of these can be changed. Currently selected objects are highlighted in bright yellow. Locked objects are a different color. New layers, feedback, tracking lines, crosshair. Any of these colors can be changed by clicking the button and then selecting your choice. For right now, I'm going to leave them default. Press OK. So not only can all the interface colors be changed, your material colors and your object colors can be changed and set as well. They can be changed by layer, by object, or by material.